Today we'd like to speak together about this perfect faith and this rapturing faith that God has anointed you with by His Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's got to be more than just a verse in the Bible. There's got to come a time in this world that is falling apart where the mind of Christ can be operating amongst God's people. He is the head and we're the body. But we're living in a time when all that we've heard for all these years, as Paul said, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. What have we become? What has the church become? After all that we've believed and all the meetings over all the years, what has it produced within our generation? We, we ought to be living in a time of rapturing faith and perfect faith perfect forgiveness and perfect love. Perfect love doesn't go around hurting or being hurt. We're living in that time. I wonder today if we can compare our lives as Christians with Christians of long ago when they would be moved by the power of the Holy Spirit and be moved uh, by the Holy Ghost, a prisoner to the Word and the will of God where they wouldn't even move until God moved them. I wonder, where is the church today? Where is the people, the young people, the middle-aged, or the older that will come to this place of perfect faith? Because we're living in a time of adoption and maturity when men and women can manifest this perfect word within our lives. We're living in a bright age. We're living at the end of seven ages. We're living right at the time when we see the timepiece of Israel is telling us that it's right at that time. Don't you sense the Spirit of God lifting off of the earth, the Holy Spirit that was poured out upon all flesh is now uh, very, uh, you, you just sense it globally. The lack of sensitivity toward the things of God. Men's hearts are getting colder and lukewarm. It's time for the change. It's time for a people to rise in perfect faith where our spiritual thermometer of the word is strong within our lives. I wanted to encourage you today in this third pool faith. We are coming to that last part. Uh, the first pool was the body realm. The second pool is the spirit realm. But the third pool is in the soul, where our faith can be operating in a higher bracket than ever before, because the word of God is quick and sharp and powerful. And the perfect God that gave us this perfect heart will keep his perfect promise by a perfect word. And we're coming to this perfection. I encourage you today. God is leading you by his spirit. And we are coming to this in time and in order for the rapture. This perfect rapturing faith. My, we see that even the time that we're living in is like as it was in the days of Noah. When souls that are in prison now, when God shut the door and there was no one else saved. Have you ever felt like maybe we're in that time now when very few are being saved? Not a lot of people globally are responding the way they used to, to the word. I encourage you today and to those around you to allow the Holy Spirit and the token for this hour to cause a real born again experience and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Come to your adoption. Respond and follow the leading of the Lord in your life. That's what we're coming to when God can get a hold of a people that can have perfect faith. I believe that it's for you. I believe you're part of the message. I believe that you're part of the rapture. And a rapture is to be caught away and caught out of this dimension I encourage you today let the Holy Spirit by that word and the faith in your heart bring you to that place he wants to involve and include you and your family and your loved ones in this last season God bless you